Hi there, my name is Alex and we are here on Antelope Audio Boot on Music Messi 2016. I'm really happy to present some of our new products and I will continue with uh, the mighty Goliath. The Goliath is uh, our flagship for audio interfaces. Uh, it has a lot of interesting features and I will start with the number of the preamps which are 16 for this device. Uh, so you can use these preamps on three different modes, uh, high z uh, line and mic. It has dedicated guitar inputs in the front here and you have dedicated controls for them. Of course you have uh, dedicated controls uh, for all of the other 16 preamps. You have also two reamps in the front uh, to, to, uh, for, for, for situations like to connect your uh, guitar amp, guitar amplifier and so on. Uh, everything for this device is really uh, easy, configurable. You can, uh, you have a touch screen here. You can uh, control everything. You can change the communication interface, the screen savers, the, con uh, the connectivity options. Now, the most uh, interesting th things about this device uh, are on the back. Uh, you have on the back uh, these 16 uh, pristine Class A microphone preamps, but in the same time, you have. Uh, uh, 24 uh, analog outputs on this up. You have uh, 16 analog inputs uh, on this up as well. You have two MADI inputs, two MADI outputs, so you can input actually 128 uh, digital channels in the same time. Uh, you have uh, ADAT inputs, uh, you have two ADAT inputs, two ADAT outputs, uh, and of course you have uh, again uh, uh, USB and Thunderbolt for both uh, Mac and uh, USB platforms. Uh, I'm really excited to tell you that with uh, this device you will be able actually to record up to 64 channels inside of your DAW. Uh, so this is the only device on the market uh, with this uh, with this size that can achieve this uh, these settings. Is that uh, USB 3 or USB 2? The USB is the USB 2, but uh, the, the 64 channels are, are available for now only for the Thunderbolt. Uh, now, another interesting thing are the uh, uh, dedicated monitor output. So you have uh, Pristine Quas uh, a uh, DAC chip uh, for the monitor. Uh, the, the other interesting thing uh, is the uh, software control panel. Actually, uh, for this device, uh, we decide to separate the control panels for two different sections because the routing uh, is uh, tremendous with the amount of the IOS, uh, uh, like these 64 channels here and the outputs. Uh, so you have this in separate uh, software uh, uh, control panel. Uh, on the other side, uh, you still have the routing, the, mi the mixer section, you have the effect section. Uh, about the effects, uh, I'm really happy to announce uh, some of uh, uh, two of uh, our new effects, uh, which are the API 550 and uh, NIF 73. You can really easily uh, load and control them from here. This is really, really nice emulation. I, I'm sure that a lot of people will enjoy it. Uh, and the best thing about uh, all of these effects uh, is that uh, uh, you can apply them on all of these uh, 16 microphone preamps uh, and you always receive a zero latency for all of them. So you can really uh, easily route uh, all, of out, all of the inputs and the outputs for, for different scenarios like recording session uh, to, and uh, for, for tracking, for example. Uh, another inter uh, interesting feature about the Goliath is actually the networking that we present uh, uh, a couple of months ago with the Orion Studio. The networking actually allows you to install the control panel for this device on this station here. Uh, the control panel is going to recognize the device, but then you can install the same control panel in the same network on another station and you can control all of the features for this device from another computer, which is really handy for live sessions or uh, uh, for uh, big uh, room spaces and so on. Uh, we will introduce really soon a uh, tablet application for this device, so you can control it uh, from your tablet. And uh, this is... Uh, pretty much everything about the Goliath uh, for this uh, 2016 Music Mesa. Thank you very much. So, do we know when it's going to be available and how much? Uh, the price is going to be around uh, 5,000 uh, US dollars and it's going to be available uh, in the middle of uh, May. Thank you very much.